they're not Brooklyn residents anymore, but that hasn't changed the way Joan and Lou Gansilla give back. They're longtime donors to the Tablet's Bright Christmas campaign, and in recent years, their contribution has helped them remember good times in the old neighborhood. Currency News' Jessica Easthope has their story from Farmingdale, New Jersey. And the Grinch ended up coming out every Christmas. The first thing you see when you walk into Lou and Joan Gansilla's house are toys. And then sat next to him in the presider's chair throughout Mass. They belong to their son Joseph, or as he was known in the Diocese of Brooklyn, Father Joe. His love for the children. And they would they, start asking him. In September. In September. September. Who's going to come? Who's coming right. for Christmas? And he would never tell. I'm not telling. Father Joe used these toys every Christmas as a way to relate to the children at his masses, right up until Christmas of 2019, 10 days before he died. Yeah. I could not believe it. Sometimes we still can't believe it. You know, we, we just expect them to walk through the door. You know, it's just, you don't expect that. You're not supposed to be burying a child. And she gave it to us. Like Father Joe, his parents know how impactful toys can be in a child's life, which is why they've been donating to the Tablet's Bright Christmas campaign for more than 25 years. When we get the mailing every year, it's, yes, absolutely. Joan and Lou have since moved away from the Diocese of Brooklyn. And there's Regina. And their home parish, the Basilica of Regina Pachas. We've attended there all our lives. We saw the church being built. But for them, it will always be home. Anytime we go back to visit our son, when we walk into the church, we have that feeling. We're yeah, home. We're home. Our roots were there, you know. And they, but, in a way, they still are. And giving to Bright Christmas is a chance to make that home a better place for those who really need it. <laughs> Losing a child changed the Gansillas forever. Just, just a few days before he passed away. This is New Year's Eve. He died on January the 6th. But their faith and connection to the Diocese of Brooklyn has sustained them. We get the tablet and we see all the letters. Thank you so much for what Bright Christmas gave to us. So that makes us feel good. And with a new year and a higher goal, the Gansillas are giving a little more. Jessica East Hope, Currents News. Want to join the Gansilla family on their Christmas mission? There's still time to help the tablet reach their goal, and they need your help. We've gotten our first bright Christmas total so far. The paper has already raised more than $16,000 for kids in need, but they are still a ways away from their goal of $125,000 before December 25th. The need is great this year for families fighting inflation. Here's how you can get involved. Make a check out to the Bright Christmas Fund and mail it to Bright Christmas LB number 2118, P.O. Box 95000, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and the zip code 19195. Or you can make your donation online at thetablet.org slash Bright Christmas. And want to learn even more about exactly where your money will go? Currents News has you covered. We'll have a special show highlighting all the good the campaign does, from its generous donors to the grateful recipients. That'll air on Wednesday, December 7th at our normal time, 7 o'clock, right here on Net TV. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.